they go do with me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Gang hop grim. Niggas on that sweet shit, so I am never beefing. Told them niggas leave it. Y'all, it's your girl, Brianna Imani, and I'm here with the wonderful. Zanny Shanae. And we're coming to you with Talk of the Town for another interview. So, how you doing? How you feeling? Feeling energetic. As you. Jitters. Oh. The jitters. Okay, jitters. I know you just had a birthday recently, yeah. so happy belated birthday. Thank How you. was that? It was. It was good. It was wonderful. I'm 19 now. You know, new year. Well, not a, yeah, new year. New year, new thing. Yeah. So that's really exciting. So let's get right into it. So how did you get your name, Zanny Spinnes? Where did that come from? <sighs> Long story short, I tried. I tried the first. The first part of my name, Zan, and. I was wildin', so you feel me? Mm -hmm. People started calling me Zannies off that one experience, and it was just like, wow. And I just, I just went with it. Okay, because I'm not gonna front. I didn't know your name was Zan, so I didn't know if it was like <laughs> Zan, like yeah. some. Okay, so that's good to know. Okay, so what brought you into rap? Well, I have ADHD, so to cope with all the energy that I have, I channeled it into reading and writing lyrics. And the writing lyrics, I took it a step forward when I found out that I have a good voice, like a natural singing voice. So at what point was that? How old were you? I was, wow. I was like 12, 13. Wow. So you started from young. Yeah. So, okay. So you're 12, 13 when you found your voice, but then what got you into the studio? I ain't gonna lie. My brother, JBZ, he got me. For me, he was telling me, it's time for you to take it a step forward and do bigger things. So he got me in the studio. I was recording on the laptop. I was doing everything myself. Nice. So do you think that if it wasn't your brother and somebody else told you, you would still did that? Or yeah. like, would you have done it regardless? You was just yeah. waiting for that push. I was looking for the push because I needed to really hit myself in the studio. I was, I was just on a laptop with headphones. Mm -hmm. So it was staticky and it was a lot of errors with how the tracks were sounding. Mm -hmm. But now they sound... Sound. Well, we hear it. We yeah. know they sound great. So, okay, so you were in the studio. So, what happened to those tracks that you were recording on the laptop? Did they ever get released? Yeah. Are they still in the stash? Yes. Yeah, they got released. They was on SoundCloud, but I had to, I had to take them down. You know, I don't uh -huh. want people to hear that now. Uh huh. It's like, oh, she was recording on the laptop. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. So, like, how did you feel after your first like actual studio session? So, outside of the laptops, like really stepping in the booth, like doing your thing. Yeah. How did you feel? Ah. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I felt I felt good because I heard how I sounded behind a mic, mm -hmm. and it was like, yo, this is really you. Like, it's not no, you can't really hear me. I'm low. Like everything is. I sounded great. Mm -hmm. I did not know I would sound like that. Like I always, what's the word I'm looking for? Underestimated, estimated myself. Mm -hmm. I was for me. I mean, but you know, you always your own worst critic, I guess. Yes. So yes, I mean, are. it makes sense why you would get into the booth and really hear yourself. So that's what really motivated you. To like really get out there out there mm -hmm. right okay cool so um did you think that you were gonna get as far as you have so no, far no that's the grace of god god ha god is my number one person i go to when times is rough because it was times before i hit big numbers where i only i would drop a song mm -hmm. and i would hit like 500 and i would think like oh my god this is 500 mm -hmm. so you feel me i thought that was the highest i could do but now, now yeah I know, so because you're really doing numbers. Yeah, I see, I it's running lot. up, it's running up. So, okay, so you told me your song was released. So, were you encouraged before your brother or even after your brother? Was anybody else like on you about keeping up, being consistent? Because, like I said, you have a very consistent team. For the people out there, like his team is very consistent, they're Shout very on top team. of things. Shout out to the team. So, like, who else has been in your corner, like motivating you to do, you know, what you're doing? My aunt, my aunt and mother. They always said since I was like seven, you got you got a voice, use it. So my aunt put me in the church choir, and nice. I was in the choir singing. Not I didn't want to sing, but you know I was singing. So they was always like, you got you got to do more. You got to show the world your talent. Mm -hmm. And I would be like, no, no, no. But different people, other than them two, like I would be in school singing down the halls because I'm known in school for music. Mm -hmm. And in middle school. Fun fact, I've been in the same high school and middle school for all all years, 6 to 12, and oh, the wow. school started. Like I was the, I'm the founding graduating class. Oh, wow. Okay. So they Shout know me that. for music, and they would hear me sing, and they would be like, you got to show the school, or you got to, and I would be like, nah, I was shy. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so two follow-up questions on that. The first is, so are you still in school? Did you graduate? I graduated. Okay, I saw, and I think it was Miles. 
Video. Yeah, mouse. And you had like the cap and gown yeah, yeah. on. Okay, so I'm like, okay, I, th- I think he graduated, but that's cool. And then I also see that you know you said you were in the church choir. I know you be posting your little videos in the stool and you be singing along. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I hear the vocals in there. Yeah. So like, okay, I know you rap and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. would you ever do like a track with you just like singing, singing like, flexing those vocals? I ain't gonna lie. I got a couple. I got a couple. Vids like mm-hmm. snippets of me doing songs in the snow where I just hear my vocals and I be thinking to myself like you just need to go in there record a song don't have nothing just record a song and just drop it right but it's like I have to get accustomed to hearing that because what I'm okay. used to hearing is me in the stool a little bit of auto tune a mm-hmm. little bit of tweaks here and there right. and not just zannies not right. just zannies I feel you okay so what do you do outside of rap. I do different things. Like okay. I'm good with computers, so you know I be on I be on the web. I be helping different people around the neighborhood with their computers and cable. You know I'm just good with electronics. Also, I like to code. I like to do oh, different nice. things. Yeah. Okay, okay, he's multi talented, y'all. So That's... like, take me. Let's say we're on a day with Zanny's finesse. What does that look like? What's a, a typical day in the life? Of typical day. Well, you know, first thing first. I get up, brush my teeth, take a shower after, <laughs> come out, play my game. Then I decide like what's on the agenda for the day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If it's nothing to do, I'm gonna play my game and rock out and chill. You know, watch Hulu, watch my shows. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Other than that, I'm busy on the road, interviews, different things. Right. Okay. So now, when it comes to your creative process, what's that like? Like, walk me through it from the time that you, you writing your shit down. You won't even believe that I don't write. I just, I hear a beat, I start playing around with it, using different tones, seeing which voice, that I, I have different voices, you know, mm-hmm. I can always switch it up. Oh, <laughs> oh excuse me. <laughs> so, you know, okay. I be switching it up, seeing what sounds, what sounds good here, what sounds good there, mm-hmm. and I'll just start talking. So you do it all while you're in the studio, so everything happens like organically yeah. while you're there. That's yeah. pretty dope. Okay. So I know you have a few videos out. I'll mm. save my favorite for after you answer. But which one is your favorite of the videos that you? Hood choose? celebrity. Hood, Hood celebrity. celebrity. Why is that your favorite one? It was me and all my peeps, all my whole team, mm-hmm. everyone there. We all was we all was feeling ourselves. You know, my birthday had just passed. We mm-hmm. all feeling ourselves. Every, we all just went shopping for the vid, mm-hmm. and we just kept playing. Like the plans we had for it, it went how it was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. We always together. Like I like I like moments when it's I'm just feeling the family vibe with the team. So That's you cool. feel me? That vid was more. But you know, I feel like in a lot of your videos, I get that. Like you incorporate your bros. Like oh, it looks yeah. like y'all having a good time. Like my favorite video was um, trip. Because I think it was a lot, it was different. Like, yeah. you, you know, you in your little uniform, you in the junkyard, but then I still having fun. So it was like, you know, that was something different. Cause, you know, I feel like today I'm used to a lot of videos, you know, everybody with their bros yeah. and they, but it, it, it added something different. So I thought that was pretty dope. So I appreciate it. I mean, I was looking and I saw you drop like four videos within the last year on YouTube. Wow, I didn't even know that. <laughs> and so I'm looking like, okay, were these pre-recorded? Because, I mean, of course, we're still in the middle, middle of a whole panoramic out here. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that you came up with so much content, you know, in that short amount of time. So how was that working for you? Like, did the pandemic, you know, mess with your creative process? It did. It did. It pushed a lot of things back. We had a lot of things going, we planned, and they all got pushed back due to the pandemic because, you know, you can't go outside. Mm-hmm. I wanted to shoot a video on Times Square. I looked at Times Square, it was empty. It was deserted, Des- I know. Deserted is the right word. So, you know, I work around things. Like, every, it's always going to be an obstacle. Never mm-hmm. expect the plan to go 100% down to the plan. Mm-hmm. It's going to go off the rails. Of so, we just work around it and keep going. Okay, well, that's cool. So... All right, so on your Instagram bio, you mm-hmm. say you're the hottest underrated artist in Brooklyn. That's a fact. What makes that so? Why Why is that? I'm different. Like, right now, New York itself is full of drill artists. And I know a couple artists that are underground, just like myself, that they don't do drill. Mm-hmm. And we need to be heard. I'm underrated mm-hmm. and underground. So, you know, a lot of people don't know about Zinni's Finesse. Mm-hmm. And when they hear me, it's like... Wow, you're different. You're from New York. You sure? And I'm like, yeah, I'm from you. From me. People don't even believe in it because of all the drill rappers that we have. Right. So I bring the difference, 
And the more people to, that real, the more people I put onto my music, they realize the same thing. Like you're underrated. Like you need to, the whole world needs to hear Zany Finesse. Yeah, I mean, like when I heard you, I was like, wow. Like I really like this sound. Like you know, yeah. like you said, it's outside of the whole drill scene. You know, we really deep into that right yes. now. But it's definitely something new, something fresh, especially from someone so young. Mm-hmm. I mean, like it's it's cool to hear. So that's cool. So speaking of sound, who would you compare your sound to? Like. Artists in general, or artists in general, yes. I've always gotten the Juice World, mm-hmm. and that's who I would say because mm-hmm. I really love. Juice I agree. World. I definitely agree with that. Okay, anybody and else? Juice, I would say a little bit of Uzi. I, I got my Uzi moments. Okay, okay. But if you really listen, like I'm in my own lane, like I'm me. You know I mean? mm-hmm. That's what I can say because mm-hmm. I don't really. I listen to other. A lot of artists is like my team. They could tell you. I listen to every artist. They get sick of it. They, boy, <laughs> I listen to everybody. So when I listen to other artists, I be like, wow, like I don't sound like I can't catch you an different. artist saying the bars yeah. I say. Okay, well that's great. I mean, it, you should always bring your own uniqueness to your yes. craft. So that's great to hear. So what has been your favorite collab so far? That I have. That you have, yeah. Wow, I don't even know. Like, I, what do you mean? I mean, you work with other people. It's on Apple Music, so the records are there. I saw them, so I know you have a couple to choose from. So, what's 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 your favorite collabs? I ain't gonna lie, my one of my favorite collabs is with this Philly artist. You might as well. I did a song like two years back, and mm-hmm. I dropped it on my second EP. The first EP's not there. I took it down. Okay, okay, but, okay. I did a song called Topic, and it was just me being a topic of every conversation and ev- ev- everything. Because, you know, like right now, I'm the topic for me to talk of the town. Talk of the town. And <laughs> I did a show for Fresher, and I performed, and I was talking to him. I had the jitters, mm-hmm. and I'm talking to him, and he's talking me out the jitters. And I'm like, yo, I ain't going to lie. He performed before me, so mm-hmm. I'm listening. I'm like, oh, you're nice. Mm-hmm. And... I sent him the verse, and he was like, I ain't going to lie. Like, we you got something. I mean, and he sent it back, and I'm listening like, oh, no, it's different. I never, I've never collabed with an artist out of state. So that was my nice. first out of state collab. And I'm just like, I'm digging a Philly vibes from him. Mm-hmm. So I know that was definitely a win for yeah. you. That, I, that must have felt great. I can only imagine. So, okay, so you collabed with him. Who's somebody that you would want to work with um, in the future? Give me three. Three people three. that you'd like to work with. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to give you a New York artist and two other artists. Okay. Stunner Gambino. Nice. For me, he got them vibes. Mm -hmm. I can see y'all working real well together. I would say I want to do a track with, what is her name? Her. What is her name? Her. (laughs) Okay. Her. Her. Nice. And personally, my favorite artist of all time, G Herbo. Like, I need that Herbo feature. Okay, okay. So you have a variety of different sounds yeah. in there. I like that. It's not all one type of sound. So that's def- that's definitely really cool. Um, do you have any inspirations in music? Anybody you look up to? G Herbo is one. Like I don't know. A lot of people might not say this, but he's not. He's from Chicago. Mm-hmm. It's kind of similar to New York, and it's like. I can relate to a lot of the stuff he was putting out in 2013 when I was in middle school. Mm-hmm. So I felt all that, and he's a big inspiration of me making music. Cause the first type of music I was making was a little bit drill, mm-hmm. and I had switched over once I started playing with my vocals. But another artist I would say is an inspiration that I really like is, hold on, hold on. I like Ice Cube. I like I like really? old school. I like okay, old school rap. Okay. I like a lot. I like old school music a lot. Teddy Pendergrass. I was going to say, I saw in one of your interviews, you mentioned Teddy Pendergrass, and I was so shocked. Like, wow, okay. I listen to that every morning, because that that gets me in the the mood. He's staying a cultured artist. He knows his music, y'all. Okay, so, like, what's your support system like? So, I know you have your mom, you have your aunt, you Mm -hmm. have your brother. Like, so, what, what is that like, you know, to have so many people, you know, backing you up? It's great. It's great. I wanted to quit music a couple times, and a couple of my brothers was like, you know, you can't quit. You got it. you just a couple more steps from blowing up, and just don't give up. Mm-hmm. And I needed that. Sometimes, you know, all artists go through it where they be like, nah, I'm not getting nowhere. These songs aren't going to go nowhere. Right. And just hearing somebody believe in you make you believe in yourself. Right, right. That's very true. So what's some advice about the music industry that you got? Um 
that you still follow to this day or you've seen to be true, you know, as you progressed in your career? I ain't gonna lie. Just can't trust nobody, you know? That's like the top thing. Just I can't hear trust that no, a lot. Can't yeah. trust nobody because growing up, it was hard to trust people because a lot of people I've had either passed away or they got up my life. So, you know, mm -hmm. trusting is hard. And to trust a complete stranger right. that I look up to, they a regular person, but you know, they could tell me anything. They got all these connects and it's just like, nah. A you lot know, of the time, they just be talking, yeah. and then when it's time to follow up, they go. So yeah. I know exactly what you mean by that. Okay, so is there anything that you wish that you could tell yourself when you were starting off as that 12-year-old recording on the <laughs> laptop, starting his career? Is there anything that you would tell yourself, like now, that you think would help you? Um, I would have to tell myself... Just keep going. Just literally, just keep going. Like it's it's it's, it's, it's you on the path to success. Cause I always was, I didn't never knew that I could take it this far. Mm -hmm. Like I never knew like I would even be sitting here doing this interview. Mm -hmm. This is just a blessing. So I would just be like, keep your faith and keep going. Okay, well that's that's a great words of advice. I think it's no regrets, no regrets. And so, okay, so what has the highlight of your career been so far? I ain't gonna lie, that 100K on the video, like, I hit 100K a couple of years ago on my song Drugs on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. but seeing that 100K on YouTube, it's like a stamp, like, you there, you got 100,000 people. Right, right, you got people tuned in. People yeah. like what they hear, clearly. Yeah. The numbers speak for themselves. Yes. So, okay, so where do you see Zanny's Finesse in the next five years? What do you think? next and a mansion in calabas <laughs> a mansion okay that's not really saying much you could be in a mansion in calabas yeah, doing right. whatever so doing what where do you think you're going to be career wise what do you think i should be i should be having a couple sold out tours probably international you know my okay. son ain't boogie were international in like two three years so mm -hmm. it's possible in five mm -hmm. like be international overseas doing shows but still that mansion in calabas is chilling you know I gotta have a vacay day, but I'm just talking about the vacay day, not all the work. But it's a lot of work gonna be put in. <laughs> of in course, five years. of course. Okay, especially if you go to mansion in Calabasas. That's a know. fact. All right. Well, is there anything else that you would like for the people to know about you before we wrap up? <sighs> Any new projects coming out yeah. that you want to shout out? Yeah. What's what's going on? I got got a I got a couple I got a couple things in the motion. A project. To be determined, you know, we don't know the day. Okay. What is death coming? Okay, okay. Songs, next song real soon, you feel me? Just run trip up, get them streams. Run get, trip up, y'all, you get heard. Get them streams and trust me, project, song, real, real soon, I promise. Okay, so now shout out your Instagram, shout out any social media handles, anything you want the people to have. Zanny's Finesse, IG, Facebook. Zanny's Finesse everywhere, you know, Zanny's Finesse is the brand, like... <laughs> All right, well, you heard it here first. So, once again, it's Brianna, and we're here with Zenny Sonai. And that's it for our Talk of the Town interview.